Hello, hi, good afternoon. I'm ready to jump into a reading for Pisces. This will be for anyone with Pisces in the birth chart from Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. You could find messages in this video and also cross watchers welcome as always. So we'll jump in. I'm going to do a current energy check. I've already pre-shuffled on your energy, Pisces. I do see a lot of new things in your energy. New starts, new cycles. Oops, every time I do that. I've got a new altar cloth on my table and it's slippery, and, you know, it's very slipper. Um, with Pisces energy spirit, please, some of and Venus. But yeah, I see a lot of, if you're, you know, for any single Pisces out there, there's a lot of new things coming. Passionate new beginnings, new fresh, fresh crisp, honest starts. And those in a relationship, I feel like there's a new cycle coming. Like something's, there's a change coming within, you know, within your environment. Okay, let's get Pisces energy, please, spirit. Some of my zombies. Pisces calling energy, please. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, hi, this is Kelsey. My name's Kelsey, this is Empress of Energy. It's um, a fairly new YouTube channel. I'm new to YouTube, not new to Tarot. So if you do find messages in this video, please do subscribe. Oh, yay, King of Wands. Yeah, so um, like I say, for you single, per you know, for you single viewers, you single ones, this is someone new coming. So I see a lot of new things and, you know, blessings as well. Maybe you've been waiting for this a while. Oh, communication. Love that. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Strong fire energy here, but that's, you know, it's a lot of action, forward movement, communication, to and from. Oops. Oh, okay. The Eight of Pentacles and the High Priestess. That's your energy, Pisces. And some more, please. Thank you. One more. Pisces energy, please, for it. Some of you Venus. So we've got the Ten of Wands. Oh, okay. Could be dealing with a Leo. But your intuition is talking to you at the moment, Pisces, in some respect. Um, and it's possibly to do with communicate, communicating with someone with a want to work. Um, build on something. There's, there's burdens that need dropping with this Ten of Wands. Tens of completions of things. So something is, you know, something is about to change. But you're being advised to have strength and courage. Gather your strength and courage. Have strength with something. Be strong with something. We'll clarify. We'll find out some more. Um, as far as, you know, those that are already in a relationship and a commitment of such, I feel like maybe someone has had to speak some truth about something. Um, but it's, you know, it's wanting to be worked on, whatever this is. The King of Wands is someone very good looking. Very good looking. Very passionate, very fiery, very spontaneous, high sex, high sex drive, you know, it's communication. So time is fluid in tarot, so if this isn't in your energy just yet, then this is to come, because I'm doing current energy, past is anything from a minute ago and prior, future is in a minute and beyond, so we're looking at the, all the in-between of that, basically. Tell me about this King of Wands, please. I'm trying to use energy spirit. Somebody reminds me of Venus. So this can be someone new for some people, you know. Oh my God. <laughs> I love tarot. The King of Wands is clarified by the King of Wands. Okay, then we've got the Chariot card. You could be dealing with a Cancer. If anyone's going travelling, you know, if anyone's due to go on the holidays or go travelling of some sort or maybe even working away, you're possibly going to meet someone new. One more for this King of Wands, please. But this is forward determined movement, you know. This we're moving forward with something and we're, we're determined to do so. We're very passionate about whatever this is. We've got a lot of passionate towards it. Oh, very, you know, strongly our energy in this reading. We've got the sun. So we are determined to move forward toward our happiness. And I love that. The sun can also bring clarity to situations as well. 
yeah, some, this, I've got some kind of sadness and regret. Someone kind of defending themselves is what I'm getting. That, you know, for those of you that are in a relationship or in a connection of such, there's possibly been some kind of defending themselves over something that they've possibly done, which may have caused some sadness and regret. And this could be what that communication is, but we're very passionate about, you know, whether this is your energy or who you're connected to, take it as it resonates, but I feel like someone's very passionate towards you or you're very passionate towards somebody. And it's about moving forward with this person or with this situation, whatever it may be, work, family, relationship. Tell me about the Take of Wands, please. I'm trying to use energy. Thank you. One more. I'll take it, but the Five of Cups wanted to come out. Okay. Right, okay. So someone's going to be communicating with you, Pisces, I feel, on how to move forward. There's a particular path that needs to be chosen and that someone's possibly proposing this in order to win, to succeed, to move forward successfully. There's a path that needs to be chosen. Okay, Four of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, if this is a work situation for some, you need to... When there's a path that needs to be chosen... Regardless of what the Ace of Pentacles represents, this could be a new job, this could be something, um, it's a blessing, it's something new, but it's a new stable beginning. But this, this is possibly a decision that you have to make, but you have to sleep on it. Someone's going to bring something to your attention that you have to decide upon, but don't decide straight away is what I want to say. You know, sleep on it, take a moment with the Four of Swords energy, take a moment to think before you make this decision. Someone's offering a brand new stable beginning for you, whoever this person is. But it's something that you have to choose, something that you have to decide on. Hmm, what's this Ace of Pentacles, please? This could be you, very, you know, very focused on your money right now, very work driven, career driven. For some, someone's seeing how well you are at your job, how good you are at your job, and they could be coming in offering you some kind of proposition. Which is going to have you, which is going to have to uh, make you really think hard and use your intuition. Tell me about the state of pentacles, please. Okay, the nine of pentacles. Tell me more for it. Page of Pentacles, yeah. I feel like you're going to be receiving some good news, some kind of offer. Um, and it's possibly to do with some kind of growth that you've done. Again, it's you've I feel like you've elevated in some way, and someone's noticed it, is what I want, is what I want to say. And there's like ace, ace of Wands, another blessing. There's another, there's whatever you're doing, you're doing it well, whatever you're working on, whatever you're creating, whatever you're building, you're being recognized. Yeah, wow, the King of Pentacles. Oh my God, someone could literally be coming to offer you a new job. Um, or offer you some kind of stability or even money. Or, But I feel like this is so deserving. I feel like you've earned it. And you know it. But there's possibly something that you have to be strong with now. Let's carry on. Yeah, you could be opening your own business. Someone could be... Definitely opening their own business. Or becoming a boss, these promotions, becoming your own business, elevations everywhere, and your pentacles are looking great, Pisces. Your money is looking good. Oh, the ten of ones wanted to come out again then. But there's something that you need to drop. It's, something's become burdensome for you. Maybe your job that you're currently at, because this could be really surrounded about, you know, surrounding career. It doesn't happen often in my readings, so I'll be dead honest. But Whatever this situation is, that's hopefully resonating with you, Pisces. There's something that's causing you it's feeling heavy. It's weighing heavy on you. Maybe you're being left to do all the work. Tell me about this high priestess, please. But this is your intuition talking to you, you know. But this could also be a complete mystery to you as well. Oh, wow. Two of cups. Right, okay. Didn't expect that to come out because I thought this was more money and career focused. But we've got the two of cups. This is my soulmate card and the king of swords. So for those in a connection, um, 
you could have children with this person. You know, there could be a lot of stability within this connection and there's something that's happened that needs to... There's, a pro there's going to be a pro proposition on how to win within a situation that's happened within the home life, is what I want to say. Could be something to do with father and son or parent and child, most definitely. Um, but your intuition, you want to build on this, you want to work on this and your intuition is telling you that this person is your soulmate. Your intuition is possibly telling you that this person is going to be coming in communicating. Could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Give me one more for this time, please, just please. Six of Swords, yeah, moving into Carmel Waters. So maybe this is you that's going to be doing the, uh, the, you know, the proposing on how to move forward into peace, into calm, into... But there's something that you, you know what you have to do. There's something that you know that you have to do. And it's something that you care a lot about or somebody that you care a lot about. A soulmate connection can be anything from family, friend, partner, child. You know, it's someone that, someone that you've got a soul tie with, a soul bond, a soul, a soul connection. Past life connection to some. Spiritually connected, you know. I'll tell you about this ten of ones, but what this, this, something needs to be dropped. Whatever you're carrying. Right, yeah, you, maybe this is you that needs to do the offering. You need to come in and deliver something, Pisces. You need to drop these burdens. Your intuition, your intuition is telling you to drop. I feel like you've got a solution, okay? You've got a solution with something that you want to win with and how to win because this is your happiness. This is where you, you know, this is where you're abundant. This is where you feel abundant in a situation and you need to communicate on a path that you want to choose because I feel like you could have already slept on this quite a lot. You could have took a time to decide on this, but this is what you want to go toward. This is like your new start, your new blessing, your new, your new stability. And your intuition is telling you something about your soulmate here. Maybe there's some honesty that you have to give to a soulmate connection in order to proceed. And there's also one burdens that need to be dropped. This could be very difficult because we have got the strength card here. So, you know, this you might be very you might have to be very courageous in some aspect in order to deliver this this cup of emotion. Because knights bring things in, and this this knight is bringing in a cup of emotion, a cup of love. Yeah. Maybe you need to view something differently in order to take control of it, Pisces. Maybe this will break someone's heart. Hmm. Maybe you want to... Maybe, you know... Maybe you're in a situation here because of some kind of family stability. And that's what's causing you these burdens because I feel like you don't necessarily want to be there. But I feel like a, 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 a sense of fear to a degree. I don't know. I hope that's making sense. Oh, just saying what I'm feeling. Um, tell me more about this ten of wands, please. But you have to drop burdens in order to deliver this, whatever this is. Tell me about this ten of wands, please. Hi, Sue Jennifer. Wow, okay. Probably dealing with a Gemini, but we've got the lovers. You know, this... You want to... You want to go towards someone that you find you have a connection to. And I feel like this could be somebody new. Oh, you might be trying to work on something here when you know full well it's causing your burdens at the same time. There's a possible choice that you need to make. I've already said this. Is that, you know, we have to choose a path. And the lovers also represent a choice, a decision, sometimes between two people. And this is possibly what you're going to have to have the courage over. I see you have the strength to do it. The hermit. Okay, could be dealing with a Virgo. So there's been some kind of going within, which has possibly enabled you to make a choice, a decision. Sorry, my dog is making strange noises. Um, but maybe you've had to do some self-reflecting, some going within, some looking to the light. You know, finding your path is what I, what I, feel, is what I feel like. Maybe even maturing to a degree. You know, the hermit, he guides people, is very wise. 
is seen as like an elder. Um, it doesn't have to be in the literal physical sense, but you've had to possibly wise up. There's a choice that you have to be wise about. I hope that makes sense. Three of Swords, I keep seeing the Three of Swords. So, they, you know, there could be a third party situation involved and you're having to make a decision between who you actually want to be with. You know you're, you know who, you're, who is your soulmate, though. You know that. Maybe if it, you're, you're keeping yourself stuck in a situation, like I said, because of the stability within it. Tell me about the strength card, please. The Pisces energy. Yeah, if you want this brand new passionate beginning, you need to gather your strength and your courage, Pisces. Whatever it is that you want, I feel like you want something quite bad, but you need to drop your burdens with what you know and go for it. But you need to be courageous. Tell me more for this strength card, please. It's another blessing. I've seen I've said that. There's new things, changes changes are here. Okay, the two of pentacles. One more please for this strength card. So we're juggling this, we're juggling, we're juggling it. <laughs> we're weighing things up. Could be again juggling two people. Wow, okay, so I feel like you're possibly juggling the idea of whether to stay or go. The Ace of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and then the Eight of Cups. So you're juggling the idea whether to do this, Pisces, because this is you walking away from something that you possibly care a hell of a lot about. But there's a passionate new beginning that you want. You want a passionate new beginning, and you're really, really weighing this up. You really weighing this up. If you haven't already weighed this up, you need to take the time to do that first. Because you're going to have to have the strength in order to walk away. But I feel like you really, really do want to walk away. There could be secrets involved in whatever this is as well. And, you know, you, you also know this deep down. Wow. Interesting reading. Well, I hope that's given some clarity or some guidance for somebody. Please do let me know. Um, like the video, comment, you know, if these messages were for you. Subscribe to the channel, most definitely. Let's exchange energies. Um, but this is what I have for you, Pisces. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.